Hi, I'm Danny, and this is going to be a short tutorial on how to set up Qt Creator in Xcode so that you can deploy your apps on your iOS devices. At this point, you should have received an invitation to join a development team from one of the TAs. Go to the invitation and follow the steps. To do this, you're going to need a valid iCloud account, and I would recommend downloading Xcode before you go through the steps of the invitation. So after you click the invitation and went through the steps, require to join the development team you should be at the development page here you're going to want to click on certificates so at this point if you don't have any certificates click here and then just click the iOS app development and continue then just follow the steps to get the necessary certificates go back to overview the next thing you want to do is go to devices these are my devices. But in order to deploy apps onto your devices, you have to add them. So there's numerous ways you can do this. You can do it like this, which I did not do, or you can go through Xcode, which I'll show you in a little bit. The last thing you want to do is come here and add a provisioning profile. It will not let you deploy or run any of your apps on your iOS device unless you have a provisioning profile. And again, just follow these steps. Continue. Now, back to devices. What we're going to want to do is click on Xcode. And when you first click on the Xcode icon, you're, nothing's going to pop up. A lot of you probably know that by now. So what you're going to want to do is come here to Window. Go to Devices. And you're going to see, see here are my two devices. What you're going to want to do is click this add device. And for this, your device is going to need to be plugged in. And again, it's pretty simple. You just follow the steps. They make it pretty easy. And again, you can check your provisioning profiles here to make sure you have everything you need. You're going to want this provisioning profile here with a little asterisk. This makes life easier. It makes it so that you don't have to add a provisioning profile for each one of your apps like I did here in order to deploy them. So make sure you have this. And that's essentially it for the Xcode side of things. Now we're going to want to go to Qt. So as you can see, I opened up Qt. And you're going to want to come through. So say I have notifications. And that's my active project. Go to projects. You're going, to go, you're going to want to go to manage kits. If you've properly taken care of all the Xcode stuff, you should be able to auto detect this. This is what you need. And so, yeah, you click on this, press OK, and again, run through the steps. It's pretty straightforward. And so, go back to manage kits, or check this box. Go to devices and make sure that everything here is fine. You want to be ready to use. You may need to add your device manually here. But as you can see, I have a simulator in my device and my PC. So yeah, you give your device a name and make sure everything is good to go. And then click apply when you're done. And at this point, when you're working on your apps, click here. You're going to see your different projects, of course simulator your iphone and desktop yeah you want it in release mode so when you're ready to run your app and deploy it on your ios device make sure it's unlocked because it'll give you an error so there's two ways to run your app you can run it directly through qt creator just by you know running it here while it's in release mode or you can go through Xcode, which I personally prefer through Xcode, you can give your app an app icon or just make little tweaks to it that aren't as straightforward in Qt Creator. So in order to deploy your app through through Xcode, go to File, I'll go to Open Recent, and no, I'll just click Notifications for now. So when you build your projects, in Qt Creator, it'll create an instance of a Xcode project. 
I'll show you that here real quick. In this build directory, there'll be a Xcode project. File, open, you just gotta open, go to that directory, and then find the Xcode project and load it in. Once it's in here, there's a bunch of things you could do. Yeah, you can even change some code in here or yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So from here to deploy your app to your iOS device, just click this. You can see it's building and then it'll run and it'll automatically install and open the app on your phone. But yeah, that's essentially how you configure your Qt Creator and Xcode to run and deploy your iOS apps. If you have any questions or something's not working, feel free to, to ask me. Yeah, so that will conclude this pretty simple tutorial. When you're setting it up, it'll kind of hold your hand and walk you through the process and you'll be able to deploy your iOS apps from Qt Creator or Xcode.